My mom has lived in the same house for 50 years now. I brought some coffee cake. Okay. Let's go in. Here you are. Ken Martin is a part-time caretaker for his 93-year-old mother, Sue, who wants to grow old in her own home. That's total energy. Oh, my God. I put that in this morning. Well, I the think, heater. I think I'll get rid of it this afternoon. I wondered where the rest of that was when I saw the pot. She said she really didn't want to go to any sort of facility, uh, assisted living or group living, or even a smaller apartment. And I said, okay, Mom, we'll do what we can. She made me promise, and that's something that I want to stick to. Ken is a freelance photographer and an adjunct professor. Between classes and photo assignments, he visits his mom several days a week. I can feel the stress. I can feel the strain. I'm just hoping that doesn't take uh, too much out of me. Can we do your hands? Yeah. Ken is not alone. An estimated 34.2 million people in the United States provide unpaid care to the elderly. Collectively, that's an estimated $500 billion worth of free care annually. Okay, I'll get you gloves. Many unpaid caregivers also report that their physical health is suffering too. Here you go. For Ken, when he visits his mom, it's also a reminder of his financial health and his own future retirement. There's a good chance growing old in his own home may not be an option for him. Like more than 40% of American baby boomers, he does not have enough money saved to maintain his standard of living in retirement. By comparison, his mother is the lucky one. Oh, my God. Do you believe it? When Sue Martin and Ken's father retired over 25 years ago, she had been a bookkeeper and he was an electrician. They had about $55,000 saved. They'd also paid off their home. But now those savings are dwindling and she's barely getting by on her monthly social security check of just over $1,500. Ken and his sister Andrea are bracing for what happens as she lives longer needs more care, and runs out of her own money. Because she was able to save with Dad, she's got something there that can get her through. Our mission is to preserve that and not have to dip into our uh, savings as well, uh, especially given the kind of career that I happen to have. As a contractor, Ken's annual income varies significantly. This one's from Nicaragua. This is the Worcester... Uh, Union Station. And he hasn't been able to save a lot of money. He would like to find steady, higher paying jobs in his field, but he faces a troubling job market. Even though the official unemployment rate is just 3% for older workers, millions are out of work or can only find minimum wage jobs that offer little opportunity to save. To have an extra financial cushion, Ken's already started drawing Social Security, even though he's still working. The hope now is to turn his photo archive into a nest egg. I'm, I'm kind of balancing a, on a tightrope here, not, you know, not appearing destitute. I'm not destitute, but at the same time, uh, dealing with the situation. I'm always thinking about it. It's all about business uh, at this point. But I'm spending a lot of time at my mom's house now that she's older, and I'm doing my best to uh, uh, keep her going. I'm so used to being here. I will never move to a nursing home. I think it's a sad place to be for anybody. Who's this baby, Kenny? Me. That's you? In Elm Park, just down the street. You know, um, with mom, we're dealing with age-related dementia. Is that me, too? That's you even before. The challenge is for us, of course, but there's a challenge for the individual. How to live into their golden years in dignity. Technology has real-world applications. 
Even if Sue were willing, she couldn't afford to move into a nursing home or an assisted living facility, but she can't quite afford aging in place either. She can't afford the cost of a full-time home health aide. How's it going? So eight people watch out for her. Hey, Mom, I'm there regularly. My son is there. My sister comes up every now and then. Three of the neighbors keep an eye out for her all the time. Home health aid stays for uh, an hour a day, but there's still plenty of hours in the day for something to go wrong. Looking at the stove, she leaves things on too long. Of course, we worry about the stairs all the time. She insists on doing her own laundry, which is downstairs. Well, if there were a breaking point, you know, there is no breaking point. We're going to keep going. We're going to do what we need to do for mom. It's her elder time now, and I'm willing to put all that I can into it to just uh, keep her stable, to keep her happy, until the day comes. And I really don't mind. I'd like to think that uh, when it's my turn, then, uh, you know, my son and, uh, and the system will, will help me out too.